do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I, I actually, this is like a dream question because in my mind, I have dreams about this every day. I actually see myself as the best DJ in the world. I mean, looking at Tiesto, what, what people might say he's the best DJ in the world because of the accomplishments and uh, the capacity and how big he, he brings it as an artist, as a producer, as fans. Um, I actually see myself in that level of the way I believe in my music because I'm very passionate and I see myself trying to conquer all the goals in my life as a DJ that no other DJ could ever conquer. Who do you hate as a DJ? No, 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 no negative. No, 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 no negative answers, bro. Motherfucker, answer it. No negative. I don't hate no one as a DJ. I hate David Guetta as a DJ. Why do you hate David Guetta? fucking sold out. All right, you know what? I have something to say about him sold out. David Guetta sold out stadiums before he sold out himself. So. At the same time, you gotta understand, he's already dead, he sold out, he's went underground, he I did his thing. I guarantee boom, you boom, 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 boom. paid. But when opportunities come at hand and you go, bro, hey JJ, do you wanna do a track with Madonna? What are you gonna say no because Madonna. everyone's gonna, I'm just saying, are you gonna say no because people are gonna say you sold out? No, right, he's James actually a bra in his house music because he actually showed us before he sold out, what he can do as an artist, as a DJ, as a pack the house, as a rock the house. Check this out though, man. It's like Madonna, T Pain. Like, you can't, Akon, like, you can't compare those. Well, Akon's the top. So uh, fucking legend. But, yeah. he's the, but he's at the top in the hip hop world. Akon's the top in the hip hop world because yes. his, he's on a major label that pays for him to be on top. That's true, but he's still at the top. Like, think of, think of it this way. Like, if, if I was on a major label, like, and they're funding it. They're throwing millions and millions upon millions of dollars to make sure you're getting played on the radio. They own like every radio station in every country. Fucking, he's got, you're right, gonna so be number one. Name team. someone else who has done what David Guetta did. The top, the top twenty touring acts in the. Do you know anybody else who's done what David Guetta did? Like some no, selling he, out, as they say. I guarantee you, he could have sold out and still kept his own integrity. Has anyone done that? What he's done? No, but no. I, yeah, but I'm saying like he could have still kept his integrity. He could have kept. He could have kept better music instead of fucking. I guarantee you it's yes. because he got a contract. Oh, like of course it's a contract. The major publishers or whatever that paid him like millions of dollars. Right, listen, hey, we're, at, we're at Vision, okay? <clears throat> this is Jay. This is Tommy. We're at Vision. We rock this fucking place. We love and live and do Vision. What do you think about Dead Mouse? Dead Mouse, what I think. I love what he's doing. Um, marketing wise, as a person, um, I don't know him, so I can't give. As an artist, I think he's very creative. I think he actually has a lot of thoughts that that changes the game. He takes a lot of risk that other DJs don't take. But when he does take a risk, he locks everyone in, so it's a great idea. I think he really has a great idea toward the difference in the creativity of this business. And as, an, as a house artist, um, I have not seen no one else do what he does, so I'm still a little, uh, a, a little shifty about what he's doing because at the end of the day, either what he's doing is great genius, or everyone else is stupid for not doing it. I like how he's taking like the deeper side of like dance music and exposing it to the mainstream. For example, MTV, he didn't just play, you know, whatever the fuck they they were expecting. Like, he played his own, his own productions, and it kind of exposed people. To dance music itself, and like, I like how he's moving towards like a live performance, kind of like Daft Punk, and that's that's yeah. So we're we're kind of at the 4:30 mark, so like we gotta kind of fucking wrap this shit up. Cool.